Hi Anne. So what I'm going to do here is just show you how I created the plate that you can download for free um, at the bottom of this post. Okay. So first thing you do obviously is open Photoshop because it's awesome and I love it. And we're going to create a new image. Um, we'll just do it 800 by 800 and a transparent background because you don't want the big white square at the back of your plate. Okay, so we'll just click OK and create your background and you can then, this is where the fun starts, go to your, hang on, let me just bring this out double because I've got it minimised and I can't see it properly. Go to your custom shape tool and we're going to choose um, just a circle building circle and you don't have to create a round plate you can just as easily create um, an elliptical plate so it doesn't really matter whether you want oval or round and you just draw your tool if you want to move it around on the image then just hold in the space bar and that will move it around okay so any shape plate you want we'll go for that one okay and then what you're going to do is just duplicate that, so just drag it down and create a new layer. You'll see it's exactly the same, but you can still only see one, and that's because one's obviously on top of the other. Double click, and we'll make this one white. You can't see that because it's outside my recording screen. Click OK, and then we're going to make this one a little bit smaller than the other one. Just hold and shift while you're doing that. And I'm just doing this really roughly. Normally you would line this up properly, but this is just to show you. Okay, so now you've got two circles, a smaller one and a bigger one. I'm going to just go to the layer style for the smaller one and click on satin. And that makes it really, it's far too dark. So we'll just lighten that up and make it a much lighter grey. Okay, click OK. And you can fool around with this, you know, you can make it bigger, you can bring it in further from the edges. Whoops, we didn't mean to do that. Okay, so take it back. And you can see already it's starting to look like a page. You've got this little shadowed area here. And then you can apply any of the styles you want to the outside edge of your plate. So you can make it, you know... Um, I don't know, blue, because that's on the top. I don't really like that. Obviously, whatever styles you've got. And you can do it from within layer and style, but I'm lazy. And there are so many good styles that you can get, um, you know, for free, or even some that, you know, I've got quite a few that I've bought within graphics packages and things. So you can just go down, find a style that you like, there you go. Nice gold plate. Okay. Um, really, all it is is just two shapes. So you can move that about, do what you want. What's really cool, because what I had to do, um, for the, well, I didn't have to do it, but because I like playing, I did it. When I was creating the plate for Leanne's latest cover, was to personalise it, and Lexi's Bakery was called the Cup and Cake. So we decided that, um, or I decided, because that's what I do, that we would put some writing on the plate and customise it. And it's really simple to do, okay? So, um, you know, you can either put it round the outer edge or round the, the smaller edge. It doesn't really matter which one you do, okay? So you just click on your text tool. And normally you can see, you know, that's just straight up and down. But when you come over to the custom shape okay you can see that you get this little squiggly line and what that does it then follows the path so you know you would put your text here and you can see it just follows that path around okay just move it up a bit so you can you can see it there and that's it that's how really really simple it is to just create a plate. 
as I say, making this available so you can download the PSG. You can fool around with it to your heart's content. You know, you could then make some biscuits and, and chuck a few biscuits on there or whatever it is that you want to do. But we'll make this available for you to download. Have fun playing in Photoshop, people. It's awesome.